Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. In this session, so we are going to discuss about uh, a user defined data type in C language. So, what is the user defined data type? That is type def, type def. So, actually, this is a keyword. This is a keyword in C language is used to create synonyms. So, what is a synonym? So, another meaning nothing but duplicate identity or a alias name we can call. Okay. So, using type def we can create alias names to the identities nothing but to data types which are available. So, what all the data types available in an application right that we can access with the help of alias names also with the help of duplicate names also okay how can we create and all see here it is whenever you declare here it is suppose one data type is there data type and here it is alias name we are writing alias name means a duplicate name just consider alias name and next before the data type we have to write a type def declaration we have to write type def declaration so what is that see for example so this is a syntax syntax and this is example type def type def integer suppose int and followed by we are writing one identity my int my int suppose if you are not writing this only int and followed by identifier means it is just working like a variable so variable is of type integer so it holds integer data it holds integer data but here in front of data type if you place the type def declaration right if you place type def declaration from now it is working like a alias name to integer data type so this is so original identity original identity of a data type and this is a duplicate identity this is duplicate identity one is original identity second one is a duplicate identity sir will they reserve any sp space in the program no these identities so not occupy any memory in the application and one more thing we can declare these variables either locally or globally inside a particular method or block if you write this statement my int belongs to that particular method or block only from outside of that block you cannot use suppose if you declare globally as a global variable then you can access anywhere in the program so these synonyms or these alias names can be either global or local right next one sir are they permanent no once the control come out of the method or once the control come out of the program all these local identities and global identities will be deleted will be deleted okay these are not permanent and these will not occupy any memory in the application right so this is what we call a type def declaration we will see some of the examples where we use exactly okay see one example suppose in the main method in the main method i am declaring one variable suppose using type def type def int my underscore int now i am declaring two variables suppose here it is int a comma b and c also suppose we are taking here a value is a 10 or you can initialize directly simply simply 
a equals to 10 b equals to 20 and c we are adding c equals to a plus b and we are printing the c value some value so we are printing some value we are printing so what it will print so 10 plus 20 30 it will print instead of using this int in place of int we can use my underscore int also here we can use my underscore int also it is also allowed ok so this is variables declaration type def declaration it is a simple example because my int is a alias name to integer type so here we are declaring variables declaring variables with the help of alias names only ok we will see one more example this is we are using primitive types and in the next program so we use a derived data types like array ok see so now we are using the derived data types to represent a type def ok for example in the main function i want to declare an array here just integer type array integer so array name we are taking a r r the size is a 5 just consider so what is the meaning of this one a r r is an array of sizes of 5 which is holding integer data but now in front of integer so we are writing type def in front of integer we are writing type def then what will happen from now a r r is working like a template template means a predefined structure right it is a template alias name of integer array with the size is a 5 so clearly to understand look at this a r r x this is variable declaration here directly we can store 5 elements 10 20 30 40 50 so what type of data integers are where you specified the integer type and where you specified the size is not there more clearly in place of a r r you can write array now it is very clear now it is very clear array we are declaring array variable but sir where is the square brackets where you are representing the size and where is the data type here in the template you are representing here in the template you are representing suppose here it is size is a 5 and type is a integer type so this array is also holding this array is also holding x is a variable array variable of type is a integer with the size is a 5 so that is why it is allowed to store 5 elements then how can we print here it is printf printf array elements are printf array elements are here it is using for loop but here we need to declare integer type variable we need to declare integer variable i to repeat the loop index starts with a 0 i is less than 5 i plus plus printf percentage d x of i it is allowed to print like this i value starts with a 0 i is less than 5 i plus plus ok and here we are printing so array elements but here it is in the declaration of x in the declaration of x so here it is we are not specifying what type of data you are storing and we are not specifying the size because already we specified right here it is in the creation of or in the definition of alias name more clearly we can call it as a template ok so this is how the declaration right i mean type def declaration to derived data types
okay and what are the advantages of type def declarations right and how can we apply all these things to user defined data types so that we'll see in the next session okay for more videos please subscribe to narish it channel thank you